Today's review is sponsored by Hank's Funeral Home and Buffet, where your loved ones are served medium well or well done. Death has never been so tasty. Watch it, Alan. I'm shooting. Inside. I'm just going to say it. French horror movies are some of the most depressing movies in the genre. They're great movies, of course, but it's hard to marathon them because they're so goddamn sad. Not saying that there aren't depressing horror movies from other countries, and I'll admit that not all French horror movies are depressing, but a lot of them are. I recently watched a movie named Baxter, and leave it to the French to make a movie about a talking dog one of the most downer flicks I've seen in a while. Between 2000 and 2009 was when the French extreme horror movement began. The most notorious movies from this time are High Tension, Inside, and Martyrs, all great movies, but fuck me are they depressing. <laughs> Today we're looking at Inside, which is probably my favorite French horror movie. <laughs> this movie is a lesson about being a pregnant woman in a horror movie. Never be pregnant in a horror movie. It doesn't go well for you. Your baby will either turn into a monster, be the Antichrist, be used for human sacrifice, or somebody will just try to cut the thing out of you. Such is the case with Inside. We follow a pregnant woman named Sarah. The movie opens with her and her husband getting into a terrible car accident, resulting in the death of her husband. We're already off to a fun start. Four months later, Aunt Sarah is about ready to give birth. On Christmas Eve, no less, because again, this is such a happy movie. The doctors are planning to induce labor the next day, which means Jesus is really gonna steal this kid's thunder. Anyway, Sarah's hanging out in her house when she starts getting harassed by a strange woman outside. It starts off with knocking and banging her fists on the glass. Things escalate when the woman breaks into Sarah's house, and she wants her unborn baby. What follows is one of the most intense, violent, and disturbing home invasion movies as Sarah tries to protect her unborn child from this monster of a woman. Inside is not only one of my favorite French horror flicks, it's one of my favorite home invasion flicks. There were a lot of home invasion elements during this era of French horror movies. You have the movie Them, which is one of the most underrated of these movies, and I'm just gonna say it, I like it more than The Strangers. And you have elements of home invasion in both High Tension and Martyrs. Home invasion movies always get under my skin because out of all the horrors we see in horror movies, this one is the most likely to happen to us, the viewing audience. We hear about home invasions all the time. It's one of the most realistic things portrayed in horror movies. Inside is known for its blood, the kills in this movie are great, but the scene that scares me the most is the moment when our villain, known only as the woman, sneaks into Sarah's bedroom while she's asleep.
Scenes like this just get to me. The idea of someone standing over you while you're asleep is an unsettling thought. The times when we're the most vulnerable are when we're in the shower, when we're taking a shit, when we're having sex, and when we're asleep. That's why all these moments are dangerous in horror movies. We've all had those moments when we wake up in the middle of the night, but we haven't opened our eyes yet, and we get into our own heads and we start getting the feeling that there's someone in the room with us. These scenes always give me the willies, and this one from inside is one of the worst. And by that I mean one of the best, because it gets to me. Let's talk about our leading lady for this flick, and our villain. We have two badass women in this movie, one good and one bad. Sarah, in particular, is one of the most underappreciated female characters in horror. It's no surprise that a lot of women characters get overlooked because the horror genre is full of strong, badass female characters. There's a reason why even non-horror fans know about the final girl trope. Sarah is one of the most badass women in horror. One, because she's pregnant while trying to deal with this crazy lady in her house. It even gets to the point where she starts having contractions as the movie goes on. So, she's going into labor while trying to fight off this killer. I think even Arnold Schwarzenegger would flinch at that thought. <laughs> And a minor spoiler here, just to drive the point home, there's a scene where Sarah has to give herself a tracheotomy. <laughs> Add all that together. A woman going through labor, and having to fight off a killer, and having to give herself a tracheotomy. Laurie Strode, eat your fucking heart out. Then we have our villain, known only as The Woman. She's frightening. She's such a violent character, but patient. She can hold the crazy back when she needs to, and then she lets it all burst out. But it's the fact that she wants Sarah's baby that makes her all the more... <laughs> and she's not waiting to steal the baby, she wants to cut it out of Sarah. I've heard some people complain about this. Why does she want to cut the baby out? Why doesn't she just wait for the baby to be born and then steal it afterwards? That way you don't risk hurting the baby. Clearly these people have never heard of womb raiders. This is something that actually happens. Women follow other pregnant women around, and then cut their babies out of their stomachs, and then take the baby for themselves. It's an unsettling thought, but yeah, it really happens. You can Google it, and after all the Tomb Raider parodies, you'll learn about true stories of fetal abduction. So yeah, Inside takes inspiration from reality. Then we have the violence. Now do not think Inside is nothing more than a gore fest. There's some fantastic gore in here, but there's some great suspense as well. Like the scene I mentioned earlier when the woman sneaks into Sarah's room while she's asleep. The scene where Sarah's boss comes over to visit and the woman pretends to be her mother. And again, the fact that Sarah goes into labor while trying to fight off the killer. The overall situation itself is suspenseful, and provides tension throughout the movie. So yeah, there's plenty of suspense here. But there is some quality violence in Inside. Sarah takes quite a bit of damage throughout the film. There are times when her and the woman fight like hell. There's something primal about a mother protecting her baby from a predator. <coughs> 
And the kills are top notch. I love the blood in this movie. There's a greasiness to it that makes everything grittier. There's a dirtiness to the film that makes it better in a way. These are some savage kills. Some people get off easy, some don't. And there's a decent body count in this flick, more than you would expect in a home invasion movie. <laughs> Which is why some people consider Inside a slasher movie. It fits both in the slasher genre and the home invasion genre very well, but for me personally, I put it more in the home invasion genre. But again, that's, that's just me. The parts that really punch you in the gut are when the movie shows what's happening to the baby inside Sarah's body. Now this is a CGI baby, so it does look cartoonish. And as much as I would have preferred practical effects, the budget for this movie did not really allow for a practical effects baby to show all this trauma happening to. They used the money for all the practical stuff outside of the body and used a CGI baby for the inside of the body. So it doesn't bother me. Inside is one of the best French horror movies, and I would say it's one of my favorite post-2000s horror movies. The more I watch it, and the more I think about it, the higher it gets on the list. Now, talking about Inside has tempted me to talk about Them, or Ills, which is the French title. It's my second favorite French horror movie, but I don't want to be too repetitive on this channel because it is another French home invasion horror movie, but I'll leave it up to you. If you'd like to hear my thoughts on them, let me know and I'll do that for my next video. Leave it in the comments down below. And with that, let's get to the Grindhouse rankings. We've got a body count of nine. The kills consist of, but are not limited to, scissors to the neck, scissors to the face, gunshots to the face, and good old-fashioned neck stabbings. I love the simplicity of the plot. Just a woman trying to prevent a killer from cutting out her baby. The kills are fantastic. Bloody as hell. But there's a fair amount of suspense here. The situation itself allows the tension to grow throughout the film. Sarah is one of the most underrated women in horror, and I'd argue one of the most badass. The woman is a great villain. She's simple in her motivation and scary as hell. And the ending is great. It has a perfect final image, and you all know I'm a sucker for a good final image. I'm giving Inside a 6 out of 5. It's one of my favorite post-2000 horror movies. As always, I want to thank all of you for continuing to watch and support this channel. Please leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know if you'd like me to do them for my next video, and let me know some of your favorite French horror movies. This is the Maniac, here to remind you that the Grindhouse will never die. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a lady friend coming over soon. What did you think I was going to do with this?